the Louisiana coastline can be a very tranquil place. But Louisiana's wetlands are in danger. According to the United States Geological Survey, the land is slipping away at a rate that's equivalent to the loss of a football field an hour. We need to wake up to the fact that if we don't do something about it, this is all going to be gone. Webster Pierce has lived in the coastal town of Cutoff, Louisiana his whole life. Since his childhood, the landscape of our state has drastically changed. It was all land. It was marsh. Uh, it was just a narrow canal, and now it's open water as far as you can see. Cajun ingenuity combined with raging Cajun research may help the problem of coastal erosion. In 2001, Pierce developed the Wave Robber, a wave suppression sediment collection system. The Wave Robber resembles a small set of stairs with pipes running through them. Anchored to the seafloor, it breaks up waves absorbing their energy. The interior pipes rob the waves of sediment and redeposit it behind the device. So because of that, we're, I'm actually mining sediment and holding it. So I'm protecting and rebuilding that area. We can now establish plant life that was getting eroded away through waves to be able to come back and be established behind the wave robber to where we won't need, we can build back slowly the land. Nick McCoy is part of the University of Louisiana at Lafayette research team led by Dr. Daniel Gang. The university's goals are to refine the design of the wave robber and to evaluate its commercial viability. This uh, technology can be used that will, you know, uh, you know, protect the, uh, the coastline, the land loss, and uh, rebuild the ecosystem. In the hydraulics lab in Madison Hall, Three scale models of the invention are at work in a 1,000 gallon tank. A paddle driven by a pulley and motor creates waves pushing water and sand toward the test units. Wares placed between the devices allow the water to flow back toward the wave generator. People are starting to get interested in new ideas and new inv innov innovation, innovative ideas for different situations, not only just the coast but other areas. Of the work of Pierce Industries and UL Lafayette's research caught the eyes of the Discovery Channel Canada. We're always looking for people who are pushing the envelope and when we came across the, uh, the Wave Robber project, it was a, a wonderful example of Cajun ingenuity at its best and so we knew we needed to come down here and see what it was about. Back on the coast, the team sees their experiment working. At the test site, yep. sediment is starting to settle and rebuild the shoreline. In February 2014, the group placed a marker outside of the test zone indicating where the shoreline is. Within nine months, roughly a foot to a foot and a half of land washed away. Pierce hopes his invention continues to gain traction. Wave robbers are lightweight, so they can be easily deployed by boat even in shallow water. He plans to manufacture them using durable UV resistant plastic. They are expected to last up to 20 years and withstand hurricanes. In Cutoff, Louisiana, I'm Chris Welty reporting for the University of Louisiana at Lafayette.